Hello. Welcome back to the Transform YouTube channel. Yes, this channel is the channel for agriculture, the startup farmers. Well, today we are discussing with you the factors that can make your chickens lay very few eggs or not laying at all. Yes, if you are here on this channel for the first time, please subscribe. And if you have been here, share, like and comment on this video so that you can know what topic you want next time. Stay tuned. A layer bird should be able to give you 360 eggs in a year. Those are very good birds. Yes. And if they can't give you this, those eggs, these are some of the factors that have caused your birds to give you fewer eggs than expected. So, if your birds are still young and they're not laying, what do you suspect? Number one could be stress. If a bird is stressed, be sure it can never give you enough eggs. A stressed bird has its own issues. A stressed bird can never leave you the eggs as expected. What causes stress? We have heat and could be a cause of stress. We have noise. We have change of colors. If you are a farmer and you are going to charge of giving them feeds, don't change colors. You have seen me with this overall. It's a brown overall. This overall is meant to feed the birds inside. I use it to feed the birds. So if you come up with a blue, you're giving them stress. If the rainy season changes to sunny season from nowhere and then it becomes, it becomes sunny straight away, the birds may have stress and they will not lay again. Yes, that is a stress. Also, I cannot forget to talk about poor feeding. Poor feeding does not mean you give them little feed or bad feed. Poor feeding means either, either overfeeding them or underfeeding them or giving them poor quality food. Underfeeding may cause your birds to have few eggs or small eggs or fail to pass an egg because the body is not able to push an egg because of the less energy. If the birds are overfed, they get obesity. That's why we get things like prolapse in your birds. The oviduct coming out, the prolapse. If your birds are getting very poor nutritional food, it can never form an egg. To form an egg, you need calcium, you need protein, carbohydrate everything to form an egg so if you don't give them balanced diet don't expect to get any any result in your birds yes your eggs may reduce gradually and you start wondering why one of the factors could be the, maybe the eggs are eat, the birds are eating the eggs if a bird lays an egg and eats it you can never find the eggs inside so if that habit starts you have to stop it immediately what do we do you can use dummy eggs in your buds or you increase on calcium because what causes egg eating is a lack of calcium in your buds. So if your buds are eating eggs, use on the calcium and of course make sure that you make them busy. Remove the eggs in the right time. Eggs are removed either 10 a.m. or 9. So you run your eggs, you run your buds when they lay. Remove the eggs as early as possible. You also give them the, the calcium that the eggs are stronger. If the eggs are so weak, they break them, and if they know that the thing is sweet, they will never stop you eating it. Hmm? If you cannot do all that, you are not a good farmer. The poor ventilation in your house. There should never be any smell in the poultry house. That means ammonia has to pass out. How do you do it? Change the husks regularly. How to change those husks? You have to at least ensure there is enough ventilation. And again, use proper husks. Don't allow water to spill off on the floor. Don't allow any, any, anything to rot in the chicken house. Because anything that rots there includes the ammonia content. And if the ammonia is big or strong, the birds can never lay eggs. We can talk of illness and disease as another factor that is causing our birds not to lay eggs well. If the chickens are sick, of course, they cannot lay an egg. You can imagine if, it's, if the hen is sick or it is ill, how can it lay? So if your birds are sick, I gave you a video that shows you the, the, the characteristics of a sick bird. How can you tell that your birds are sick? If you identify the egg reduction, the egg numbers reducing, it means the birds are sick. So ensure that your birds are well treated, they are given enough vitamins, and they are always having immune boosters. Give them the greens to boost their immunity so that they can give you eggs and they avoid sickness and illness all the time. <laughs> Have you ever entered your poultry house and find that some of the chickens slept in the laying box? We call that brood hens. 
a hen should a hen starts laying at the age of maybe 18 weeks. Yeah, from 18 weeks they start laying eggs. They go, they go up to 80 weeks laying eggs. These birds, when they are laying, some of them tend to brood. You know a bird brood is for 21 days. So when the bird starts brooding, that bird makes you lose some eggs. How do I do it here? I get the bird, put in the water, and we do it, we do it just locally, we do it locally. Put the bird in the water so that it gets that body back to its normal. That coldness in the water gives some of the energy to grow again. So it starts thriving again with eggs. And don't allow the bird to sleep in those laying, those laying boxes. If it fails to heal, set it off. Many farmers get over ambitious and they want to bring many birds when they have some very, very small space or very low capital. If your chicken house is small, put the number that fits there. I have given you videos on how many birds fit in what particular structure of the house. If I said a 25 by 20 feet house can accommodate 500 birds. But you find somebody with that 25 feet by 20 feet house structure for chickens having 1,000 birds, that is overcrowding. So if chickens are like overcrowding the poultry house, they either start biting themselves, they pick themselves, and they end up not laying good, good eggs. They give you very few eggs instead of many eggs. So please, always put enough birds in enough or enough space structure. Avoid overcrowding, otherwise you lose out on the eggs. You know, I one time told you that there were there are rodents which are human beings. That was funny, but a rodent is something that eats your things illegal. So sometimes our workers can become rodents. So you think the birds are cutting off in egg production, then they are taking away your eggs. The workers can steal the eggs, and then you, you, you see a low production eggs. Never take it for granted. If your eggs are reducing, also have to do monitoring, increase on the monitoring strategy. In monitor the more, add on your time so that the people can know you are available and if they are still, they take caution. In the chicken, in the chicken farming, or in the poultry farming, there is a stage where birds shed off the feathers. We call that on molting. Molting is that process where birds shed off the feathers. That shedding of the feathers causes them coldness, causes them stress, and they stop laying eggs. So here, you have to ensure to give them enough protein so that the feathers can grow back. If the birds have no feathers, they can never lay eggs. But of course, that process happens and doesn't last a long time. So if they, if they have started shedding of the feathers, give them the time, give them enough feed, and give them the harmony. They will give you eggs once again. If you are to start farming, you must know these reasons that we have shared with you. Because when the eggs start dropping down, don't think your workers are eating your, your eggs or maybe they are stealing them. No. Sometimes it is because of the factors I've shared and we shall always share with you more and more and more. We want more farmers to come on board. Thank you for watching. See you next time in the next video.